Jason Aldean is on the top of the country music world right now, so it's no surprise that his hit, Take a Little Ride, took the top spot on the charts this year. We had a chance to catch up with Jason, along with writers Jim McCormick, Dylan Altman, and Rodney Clawson at a party to celebrate that song's success. Here's Kelly with more. We are here at BMI celebrating a number one, Take a Little Ride. I'm here with Dylan Altman and Jim McCormick, the writers on this song. We're missing one, Mr. Rodney Clawson. I guess he's nominated for so many ACM awards he can show up, right? No, oh, he's... I wouldn't say that. I think he wants to be here. I, he's, 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 he's right behind us. That's right. He's That's on right. his way. I, I'm just... He's actually coming from another number one party of his. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, these guys, you guys are all doing so wonderful. And talk about getting together and writing the song, because this is your first number one for Jason, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you know the day that you had written it that he was going to hear it and it was going to be a success? Or yeah, we you know it's it's rare, at least for myself, that that's happened. But we wrote that and it really felt like something for him. And Rodney has had so much success with him that it seemed like a no-brainer that it was going to get to him. So yeah, it all kind of worked out the way we wanted. <laughs> Isn't that nice when it comes together like that? Very exciting, yeah. Uh, and this was his fastest debuting. That's what they tell us, yes. Um, it, it, it real, real rewarding, just, just real, you know, it was pretty awesome to be a part of it all, it really was, you know. So have you been out to see Jason play it on the road? Because I know his shows are selling out like in 10 minutes. Have you guys been out to catch it? I've only, I've only seen the YouTube videos so far. It's all, all I've seen. No, I haven't seen it live. I have not either. Okay. Looking forward to it. So as songwriters, are you the guys that stay home, watch the charts every Monday, week by week? I mean, because this one, it didn't take that long. I mean, what, 10 weeks, I think? How fast was it? Very fast. It was uh, a very little suspense with it too, which was nice because I'm neurotic, so it was nice to not have to stress about it. But yeah, it was pretty fast. It was about 10 weeks, and then it stayed there for three weeks, right? I've got Rodney Clausen who just showed up. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Congratulations on everything. Today's number one, and you recently just got nominated for Songwriter of the Year at the ACMs. That's going to be exciting. It is going to be exciting. I had to plan another trip to Vegas that I wasn't planning on going to. So. <laughs> A lot of money. Do you gamble when you're out there? Uh, I try not to. I've, I've got some good friends that like to gamble, and I, I just watch them, and that's good enough for me. So. All right. So you guys, when you got in the room for this song, you sort of had a Jason in mind, right? And that doesn't always pan out that the artist ends up hearing it and recording it. What's the story behind that? Well, no, I mean, I very, I, I usually try to write a song and just write it as good as we can, and, and if we do that, we feel like we got a shot at several different artists. But this particular day, um, Michael Knox had told us they were looking at a certain thing for Jason's, not this record, but the one before, and it was the tail end of the project. They were looking for one specific thing, and we tried to write that, and it didn't end up getting cut, but it carried over onto this next record, so that was a pretty lucky thing. Wow. I think, so. That's a great thing, because you know what? It's nice when producers and artists remember it when they're cutting again, because they get so many songs slung at them, right. and then to remember that song on the next right. album, that was a good thing. And yeah, this isn't the first time that's happened with me. I mean, Michael Knox has been so great for me as a producer. He's, he likes my songs. He's given me the big hookup with Jason, and so so, um, yeah, I've had a couple of other instances where he's uh, liked a song. I think uh, Johnny Cash was a song like that. He liked that song for the first record. It ended up being on the second record. So that's happened more than once with Michael. So he's been he's been great to me as far as that that Good. goes. So. When you got in the room, who came up with the melody? Who had the idea? How the tell me like in the room if I was there? I think I had the riff and the chorus like the and the down 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 down. And we just, it just kind of flowed. And it was the, the interesting thing is, I'd been writing with Rodney for eight or nine years, and same with Jim, but there was the first time the three of us actually sat in a room together. I don't think we've done it even since. Have we? Shame on you guys. Uh, you know, we wanted to keep our record at a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your average is pretty good right now. Right. But yeah, we, you know, so I came in with it, and, uh, you know, there's such a rapport between us that it was just pretty easy. And it was just, again, it sounded like something that, you know, I knew Rodney would just pounce on and Jim as well, and we just knocked it out. It's probably pretty easy, like two, three hours or something like that. Anyone from the heartland is going to understand. What I'm talking about right now
here with Jason Aldean, who is celebrating two number one parties in one day. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's pretty rare that you get to celebrate two, but we actually were uh, you know over the holidays and, and didn't really have a chance to celebrate, take a little ride, and, and then. Uh, this, this new one started going up the charts. We figured, you know, hopefully if it went number one, we'd be able to celebrate too, and, and luckily it did, so here we are. It is your time. What great songs. Take a little ride with you. Talk about that, because you had that around even on the first recording of the last album. Right. Yeah, it, it was a song that actually was around for uh, for the My Kind of Party album, and a song that we had talked about cutting, and, um, you know, we, we kind of felt like we had all our tempos for that record and, and really didn't have a place for it, but... Uh, you know, still kind of hanging around there when we started looking for songs for for this new album, and um, one of the when it ended up being one of the first songs we cut for the album, and, and ultimately the first single. And when you can have an artist like Jason, who is just so hot right now and flying up the charts, it must be so rewarding as writers because you guys. I mean, it's not always this easy. Tell us the other side of it. Well, the other side is you write you write the best song you can, and it ends up on a record, and, and they've done the best they can in, in recording that record, and radio does the best it can in getting that record played, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't get traction, and sometimes sometimes they don't move at all up the charts, and um, it's certainly nice nicer to be on this side of, of, of that all that than than on the slower ones. I gotta say, uh, I gotta. This past weekend we had a huge show, my first ever show at uh, Madison Square Garden, sold out in about seven minutes. And so, I uh, got this picture for uh, for Benny right here, just to say thank you for uh, for giving me an opportunity to to kind of chase my dreams and let me uh, let me do my thing. So thank you very much, and thank you guys. I appreciate it. Take a Little Ride was released last fall on Jason's Night Train album. It's time for another short break, but we still have lots more ahead here on Inside Music Row. We've got a hot duo, the Low Cash Cowboys, coming up next, so make sure to come on back.